Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is an introduction to nested classes. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website javacjava.com and select begin. Um, then I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the nested classes intro. Now, a uh, nested class is simply a class inside of another class, right? We've got our class standard, our declaration right there, and then our class body right here. And then we have another class inside of it. Now, of course, nothing is that simple in Java with all the modifiers, scope, consider scope considerations, and core object-oriented functionality. Now, in fact, there are four types of nested classes, each with their own unique rules. The purpose of this tutorial is to simply make you aware of each type of nested class without going into great detail. I'll detail each type of nested class in separate tutorials. So for, let's first talk about regular inner class, or just simply inner class. Now, regular inner class is defined at the member level, and, that, and it does not have the keyword static in the declaration, right? Um, by member level, I'm talking about the same level where instance variables and methods are declared, right? So in this particular class standard here, this is an instance variable here, and it's a member of standard. Now, putting this class inner in right in here is at the member level, right? This is the same place, kind of like the first tier inside of standard. Think of it like that. And that's what a member class is, okay? And it can have its own members inside of it too as well. Now let's talk about the next kind, which is method local inner class or just local inner class, okay? So a local inner class is defined inside of a method, okay? A local inner class is defined at the same level that local method variables are declared. All right, so in this one here, we have our class standard, right? And inside of the class body, we've got this method called void method name, okay? And this is the method body right here in between the opening and closing bracket here. And so, for example, as we know, this is a local variable. String s is local to this, this method, um, method name, okay? So by declaring a class inside of a method, a method local inner class or just local inner class is declared at the, uh, basically, the local level of a method. All right. <clears throat> now you're ready for a strange one here, and this is called the anonymous inner class. So an anonymous inner class is a nested class defined without any name. An anonymous class is entirely dependent upon either um, another class or interface in order to work properly. Now they typically override a method from an existing class or interface. The syntax is quite strange, so don't waste too much time dwelling on that. I'll go into great detail in a separate tutorial. Okay, so in the first example here, I've got this class called Hello World, and it has a simple a uh, method in it called display message that displays, you know, the string literal hello world to the console. Okay, now I've got another class here called standard, and then of course, um, basically what, I've, what I'm doing here is I'm creating a hw reference variable to help hello world type, right? And I'm setting that equal to a new hello world object. Now instead of a semicolon here at the end of hello world, the semicolon is actually down here, okay? And you got to pay special attention, always remember the semicolon here, but basically instead of sandwiched in between where the semicolon would go, normally go is where our um, anonymous inner class is going to go in, in this particular code block, okay? So this from this code block to right there, that is our anonymous inner class. It's not named anything, right? Um, but that is what it is right there. And you can see we're overriding this display message here, which is one of the methods in the Hello World class. And then we're just displaying Hello Earth to there, that string literal instead. Okay, now let's talk about the other, we'll call it flavor of that, and that's the, um, the interface version of it here. So I've got public interface runnable, and I've got over runnable. It's part of, you know, the has everything to do with, you know, multi-threading and everything like that. And that's what the interface declaration looks like. I thought I'd just go ahead and put it into the code in case you weren't familiar with that, right? Of course, we know this is public and abstract implicitly, and um, it's void run, so it's pretty standard on that. So in our class standard here, we, um, one thing you cannot do with an interface is create an instance of an interface, okay? But now this is where it becomes a little strange there because what you can do here is with, um, with an anonymous inner class 
is you can actually go ahead and do a runnable, which we know is an interface type. It's not a class type, but runnable, and then a reference variable runnable equals new runnable. And then we've got um, our anonymous inner class here, right, in front of the semicolon. And then basically we're overriding the run method. I didn't put the, uh, the at override annotations in here just to save space and try to make it a little, little less confusing there. So, and we're overriding, of course, the run method, which we're required to since this is public and abstract. And then we'll just put, uh, you know, that's what'll run per se is it'll display running to the console, okay? Don't worry too much about the anonymous inner class. It's gonna be like, whoa, that's a little, uh, that's a little out there there, but you know, this is, once again, this is just meant to be kind of an introduction on nested classes, introduce you to the four different types there. All right, so um, static nested class. A static nested class is defined at the member level and must have the keyword static in the declaration. Really, the only difference, you know, as far as syntax goes between a regular inner class and a static inner class is that the regular inner class cannot have the keyword static in the direction, in the, um, in the declaration. Whereas a static nested class is defined at the member level must have the static in the declaration. So you can see here's the member level, string is a member, and static class, my class. Okay, now these have some unique rules that are different than the regular inner class once you apply static to the, the static keyword to the, the uh, nested class there. All right, let's go ahead and um, you know, I, I didn't do any source code for this particular one because we're just going to jump right into, um, into well, basically the next tutorial, which will be the regular inner classes or simply just inner classes there, you know. Um, feel free to take any of this code if you wanted to copy and paste it, but I wouldn't recommend recommend that because I'm going to go into great detail on each one of these. So anyway, just, uh, just meant to kind of be an overview on that. Um, that really does conclude this tutorial. Stay tuned for my next tutorial, which will just, uh, I'm just going to start off with the inner class on that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.